right, so let's go over the next seven letters you will be um, studying. And they will be Li, Lo, Lu, La, Ma, Me, Mi. All right, so let's first do a few Li. So I normally start it towards the top, and I come around, and I come down like that. Then I put a cap on the bottom. Again, Li. 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 Now remember, you should be following along so that you can get used to the shapes. Li. Li. Alright. Now let's do the next one. So for the next one, we're going to start at the top. We're going to pull down. We're going to go back up, make a big loop all the way around. Come back in towards the middle. So we're curved on this. Then we pull up. Okay. So again, we start at the top. We pull straight down like that. Then we do a loop all the way around. Loop all the way around. Then we go back in towards the middle like that. Then finally we pull up. Again, we pull down, then we do the loop all the way around, come back in towards the middle, then we go up. Alright, that's the letter low, let's practice a few of those. So, low, 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 low. All right, let's move on to the next letter. This is the letter Lu. So we can do it like this. So that would be Lu. Now you notice I don't cross, they meet at a point. So again, this is Lu. And one more time, this is Lu. So let's practice a few of these. Remember now to always keep your tongue against your lower front teeth when you say aloud each letter and always say aloud each letter as you start to write it. This way you get proper association between the sound and the shape that you're creating and this will give you the ability to be able to read without any problems. Lu. 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 Now it's time to move on to the next one. The next letter is the letter L. So this is the way I normally write the letter L. So I start at the top, I curve, and I go straight down. 
and I draw a lightning bolt sticking out like that. And I put a cap on the bottom, or give it a foot, whichever you want to look at that. So again, we do a loop all the way down. Then we add a lightning bolt. So first I do is a line going down. Then I go straight up. Then I do another line going down to make the lightning bolt. Then we put a foot on. Again, the letter L. We do a curve all the way down. We do the lightning bolt, line down, straight up, line down. I'm going to put a footer there. All right. So let's do a few of these so you can get used to the shape. La. 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 Now, as you notice, you're going to have some variation in the way the lightning bolt looks. Like this one's a bit more bent than that one. That's normal. You should probably you will probably be doing a lot more variation than I will because it's the first time you're learning the right letter. Don't worry about it as long as you have a lightning bolt there. The letter is clear as to what it is. So the next letter is the letter Ma. Alright, so do the letter Ma. First we'll start at the top. And then we'll curve to the left and come back up into a loop. Alright. Then we go back up to the top. This time we're going to go towards the right. We're going to curve down and have an open loop. So on the left we go, we went all the way down to the bottom and we closed. And on the right we only maybe did halfway down before we did the loop. And then we add a cap across the top. Okay, so again, first we do the left. We're going all the way down and we close the loop. And we start at the top again. We go part way down, then do a partial loop that does not close. Then we add a cap. Again, on the left, we go all the way down, come up, close the loop off. On the right, again, we only do a partial loop, part way down, then we add a cap. That's the letter ma. So let's practice the letter ma. So, ma, 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 now it is perfectly fine to go all the way through, ma, Ma. 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 That's the letter ma. Alright, so let's move on to the next one. Letter May. So to do the letter May, um, we can put a circle shape, we put a bar the same height as a circle, and then we join them together. That's the letter May. Again, we're putting a big circle, 
Then we draw a bar next to it, which is the same height as the circle. Then we join them together with a bar. Again, we put a big circle, put the same height line, join them together with a small bar. So let's do a few of these. May. 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 All right. So the last new letter in this practice set is going to be the letter me. So to do the letter me, you put two tall lines and join them together with a crossbar. So that's the letter me. So let's just practice a few letter me. 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 All right. You should now be ready and familiar enough with the shapes to be able to do your syllabary exercise. So let's get to it.